Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palne Parmanikam. In this video, we're going to find out why women should fast differently than men. Let's dive deep into it. So before we start, if you like the content of the channel, please do not subscribe to the channel, but please subscribe to aishwaryamtrust.com where we support hospice patients who have only six months of life to live. We give them 24-7 free medical care, food, shelter, and we take care of them completely. We are expanding a new home with cerebral palsy kits, supporting them with vocal therapy, occupational therapy, and please consider donation. The link is in the description. So the first and foremost question is whether fasting is safe in women. So I say this all the time that women actually start their innings with one wicket down because there are so many hormones interplaying their body is an actual musical orchestra which has to be synchronized properly god has designed in such a way that every instrument in this orchestra plays well with each other and when one instrument is not playing very well the other instrument gets affected and the whole orchestra comes down in men the same orchestra is played except without the instruments estrogen and progesterone which are the two most important hormones hormones to be considered. So we keep talking about in the channel about not eating anything after sunset, maintain the circadian rhythm. This is even more important in women than in men. I strongly feel that this is the main reason that is disrupting the circadian rhythm is the main reason for developing diseases like polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS. And if we can reset the circadian rhythm, it's going to take some time, but all the hormones will fall in place eventually. In 2021, a study took patients between 18 to 30 years of age with polycystic ovarian syndrome and made them adopt an intermittent fasting regimen of an eight hour eating window they continued that for six to eight weeks they measure their hormone levels before and after surprisingly unfortunately all the inflammatory markers c-reactive protein increasing glucose levels all came down after this intense eight hours of eating window fasting for eight weeks the icing on the cake is after two months few women actually normalize their menstrual cycles remember these are pcos patients with irregular menstrual cycles so fasting is absolutely safe in women but there is a technique to do it why should women fast differently than men to understand this you need to understand how a normal menstrual cycle occurs a normal menstrual cycle is usually around 28 days god has created human beings in such a way that ovaries produce ovum waiting to be fertilized by the sperm to become an embryo so every month women's reproductive organs prepare the uterus for the fertilization of an embryo in this 28 day cycle the first half of the cycle is focused on preparing a bed in the uterus we call it endometrium in this phase estrogen is a hormone which is at its peak it starts stimulating the endometrial proliferation so that the lining of the uterus is very thick in case if an embryo is formed it has a nice little bed to be slept on and this happens in the first two weeks of the cycle around 13th or 14th day when the bed is maximal the ovary releases the ovum and comes inside the uterine cavity and if this ovum gets fertilized by a sperm an embryo is formed and that embryo gets implanted in this nice uterine bed so that the pregnancy continues i'm just literally amazed by the sequence of events created by god it is absolutely magical as long as we don't disturb this this is going to be a wonderful cycle and when the sperm is not there and the ovum is not fertilized all this endometrial bed disintegrates in the second half of the cycle from 14 to 28 days in this phase there is a hormone called progesterone what progesterone does is it disintegrates the endometrium menstrual bleeding happens so that the uterus is ready for the next cycle for the estrogen to prepare the uterine bed for an embryo if it is formed this is a revolving vicious cycle which works beautifully Beautifully. So how is this cycle connected to fasting? Let me divide this into three phases. The first phase is day one to day 10 of the menstrual cycle. Day one is where the actual menstrual bleeding starts. This is the time where the uterus is preparing its bed, which means that the estrogen is slowly being produced. You need estrogen to create this uterine bed and estrogen absolutely loves fasting. It is absolutely resistant to any kind of stress that you are planning to do. I always recommend my patients that talk to your significant other during the first half of the menstrual cycle where the estrogen can resist any kind of arguments. So in the first 10 days, this is your platform for fasting. You could even do 36 hour fasting, 48 hour fasting, 24 hour fasting. Practically speaking,
fasting you could stick to 16 hours of fasting with 8 hours of eating window for the first 10 days where estrogen is high then comes phase 2 day 11 to day 20 this is where estrogen actually peaks in the middle and then slows down and after that progesterone increases from day 15 this is called transition phase now we all know that estrogen withstand any kind of pressure you can fast whatever level you want but it is exactly the opposite to progesterone progesterone needs sugar progesterone needs insulin so during this transition phase you should slow down your fasting a little bit as well between day 11 to day 20 a sweet spot would be around 14 hours of fasting which is very very doable day 21 to 28 is the last phase of the cycle where the progesterone will reach its peak we have already talked about this that progesterone needs insulin insulin needs carbohydrates that is why you crave for chips you crave for chocolates you crave for all the junk food just before your menstrual period because progesterone is making you to do that i know many of my subscribers and patients hate me to the core because i keep on putting videos not to eat anything after 7 pm and limit your eating window as much as possible but they cannot do it before the menstrual period it is absolutely okay your hormone needs some support from glucose and insulin my wife says i need chocolate right now i used to say this is not even a week before your menstrual period why are you craving for chocolate she is saying i'm craving for the next menstrual period right now so during this phase when progesterone is very high you might feel fatigued you might have this cravings it is absolutely okay to give in a little bit so decrease your fasting to 12 to 13 hours of fasting during this period again everybody is different if you are not facing any of these problems you can continue your 16 hours of fasting in case if you are experiencing any hair fall if you're experiencing fatigue if you're finding it difficult to do the 16 hours of fasting before menstrual periods it is absolutely okay to decrease it to 12 to 13 hours of fasting please listen to your body so let me summarize this for you day 1 to 10 16 hours of fasting day 10 to 20 14 hours of fasting day 20 to 28 12 to 13 hours of fasting most importantly when you are craving for foods it is better to eat complex carbs like sweet potatoes so that it will keep you full rich in fibers then that will cut down your sweet cravings as well i can tell you that i have personally treated three patients with polycystic ovarian syndrome with fatty liver all of them had infertility issues and i personally have seen them improving their menstrual cycles on intermittent fasting developing a good quality over resulting in pregnancy and they were so happy which in turn made me very happy this method is absolutely powerful remember PCOS is not a disease it is just a metabolic syndrome where your insulin level is not working which means we need to reset your circadian rhythm similar to whatever we are talking in this channel please let me know whether you crave for anything before your menstrual periods are you able to fast 16 hours a day please write down in the comment section remember one belly at a time it is absolutely important i will see you in the next video bye bye